In this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to correctly color grade your Samsung Galaxy Log video. This intro is shot entirely using the brand new Z Fold 7. You actually get the same sensor as the S25 Ultra, which means you can also shoot log video with the Z Fold 7. I'm going to show you two ways of color grading your log video. One is going to be on the device itself using that huge, beautiful display. And the second is going to be in my favorite, DaVinci Resolve. All right, so now we're here within DaVinci Resolve. First things first, let's import all of our clips in. Make sure you select all clips, right click, click on input color space, and make sure it's not Rec 2020 by default or Samsung or anything like that. Just go over all the way to the top and select your project Rec 709. This will give you true log to work with your clips. Now I'm gonna start by color grading this first clip here, which is shot outdoors, hop into the color panel, and pretty much all the editing is gonna take place here. Now, just like every color grading tutorial, I'm gonna start by creating three nodes. So right click, add node, and add serial, and we're gonna do that twice. We're gonna call the first node base, the second node CST, and the final node LUT. With your CST node selected, go to effects and search for color space transform. Drag and drop that onto the CST node. And now this is where it's gonna change a little bit from what I did on the S25 Ultra. So what you're gonna do, go into input gamma and then scroll all the way to the bottom where you find a Samsung log and select that. Now you can see it's kind of applied the gamma values, which corrects the image a little bit. What we need to change next is going to be the color space. Now for the color space, there's actually a few options to pick from. There isn't one correct answer. So I'm gonna go through a few of them and show you how it affects the image. So under color space, the first one I'm gonna select is going to be the RE Wide Gamut 3. And with this, you can see it actually corrects it almost perfectly. That looks exactly what a color corrected log to Rec 709 should look like. But if we select Gamut 4, you see it looks good too, but my skin is a little bit more magenta, more pink. So again, four feels like it's a little bit more pink in the skin, more magenta, but we can try another one. Let's scroll all the way down to Sony S Gamut 3 Cine. Now this gives me a little bit more realistic tones to what I actually have in real life. However, if we try S Gamut 3, this gives me the most realistic of all of the ones I just tried. Again, this might be completely different for you based on your lighting and skin tone, so I suggest trying all four of these. Now with that done, with that one node alone, you can see before and after we're going from log to Rec 709. Also, you might want to consider subscribing if you want more color grading and mobile cinematography, videography videos like this. Now to save you guys this time and not have you waste time doing this every time you shoot Samsung log footage, I actually have a free preset you can download, import it into DaVinci Resolve and it'll do the color grade for you. This will also be in a LUT format so you can use it on your phone itself, which I'm gonna show you later in the video. And that's pretty much it. You could leave it right there. But this is a color grading video, so let's take it to the next level. What I'm gonna do now is go to my base node, which is exactly where you wanna go if you wanna make changes to the exposure, white balance, just overall controlling the image a little bit. So I'm gonna bring up the shadow bring down the highlights and bring down my gamma a little bit just to add a punch of contrast to my image. I can also go over to my curves and make a simple gradient S curve to add a little bit more contrast and punch. Now with my LUT node selected, I'm gonna scroll over to my LUTs and I have two options to pick from. The usual one which I always pick which is the Joker or the Batman LUT. Now the Batman LUT works great because it adds a little bit of warmth to the trees and that's exactly what I wanna do. So I'm gonna drop on the Batman LUT, go into my masking options under keying and my key output, the gain, I'm gonna turn it down to 0.45. And just like that, before and after, it's looking super nice, warm and very pleasant. Next, you can go in and drop all of your other clips on, copy the effects from the first one. If they were shot in the same lighting, select all and paste. And just like that, you've basically matched color from shot to shot, and it's gonna have a very nice synergy flowing from one scene to the other scene with similar colors, similar values, and overall just looks very nice and cinematic. Now within the free version of Resolve and just using a simple LUT, we've done the best we could to color grade it while still maintaining and retaining that quality and details using the base node. But if we wanna take it to the next level and grade it like a film, we can actually add the film look creator. So what I'm gonna do is before my LUT node, I'm gonna create a new node and I'm gonna call this film look creator. Now here you can go through all your favorite settings, very Lightroom style and add in things like glow, halation, and overall give your footage a lot more of that cinematic look and feel with things like grain as well. And to top it all off, I can even add in light rays. So create a new node, call this rays, go to your effects and search for light ray. Now dropping this on, you can actually see how beautifully this adds in light rays. If you guys wanna know exactly how I did this, you can check out this video. There's a more in-depth way of how you can add in light rays. But there you have it, before and after, turning it into an incredibly cinematic scene with just a few steps. 
With my indoor studio lighting shot, I actually did a lot more. I added a background blur using a proper lens blur to get that anamorphic look and get a separation between me and the background. I color corrected the skin to make the tones of the skin look more natural. I added more vignetting, I added more halation and glows. And overall, if you guys wanna know how to do this exact look, uh, make sure you guys subscribe because I'll be doing more content on that. I have to say, I didn't have very high expectations for the log footage from the Z Fold 7, but I'm pleasantly surprised and I can say that I can actually use this to shoot log footage, mainly with the main sensor. I wouldn't rely too much on the telephoto or the ultra wide, but the main 1X camera is really, really good. Now I know a lot of you are gonna say, hey Omar, I don't wanna use DaVinci Resolve. I wanna do it directly on the phone itself. And I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. Now obviously there's two ways of doing this. One within the gallery app itself, you swipe up and color correct. Boom, instant, super easy, no headache. But what if you wanna use it as a LUT to still adjust some settings in your editing app and then apply a filter on top? Well, I'll show you how to do that. Go to your Play Store and search for the app called VN. We're gonna open that up, new project, and select your video. And this is the beauty of the fold, I can just do that instead and edit on a bigger screen. Tap on filters bottom left and tap on add. And then add in this cube file right over there. We can add it to our used ones. Right over there, you're gonna see your brand new Samsung conversion light. Tap on it and boom, you have full control over your footage. Now the good thing is this will work with pretty much any footage. So let's import all of these clips that we had on our laptop, but doing it on the phone itself. So what I'm actually gonna do is go into my filters and now it's already gonna be saved right over there. Tap on that and you can see how you can apply to all. And now if I scrub through the footage, you can see all of them have been color corrected perfectly. It's better because I have more control here. I can actually go into adjust and then adjust my exposure, my contrast my brightness, all of those values right from here as well, giving me full control on every single clip. So much better than just doing it in the gallery app. I absolutely love the fact that we're getting log video on phones now and getting it on a foldable with such a beautifully big display is even better. Plus, if you use an app like VN, you can even color grade it on the go, which is remarkable. So if you guys want that one-click conversion lot, definitely check out my website to download it for free from there. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like it and subscribe if you really like content like this. And I'll be seeing you again in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.